Hi everybody and welcome to the video. Um, this is an overview of my exciting new chapter two collection. Um, so I've done a collection of nice kind of natural hiking inspired, outdoors inspired. Um, it's all the things that I love and I've put them into a die set for you. Uh, so before we carry on, I just want to say a thank you, a massive thank you to everyone who pre-ordered the dies on Creating Craft. If you were watching, they will be available on the Sizzix website soon. Um, but let's have a look at what they're all about. So here are the dies. Firstly, we have forest animals number one. And the number one in there kind of alludes to the fact that there might be uh, future versions of this coming out as well. Um, so maybe getting from the ground up. We have uh, a lovely little hedgehog, a squirrel, uh, an owl, a fox, a mouse, and a rabbit. And each one of these characters I've tried to design with a little bit of personality. You know, they're all looking up. There's, you know, uh, I love that little butterfly element there that was kind of landed on the fox's nose. I've tried to make it lovely and playful. Um, these have all been inspired incidentally uh, from my days as a primary school teacher where I absolutely love the illustrations in the children's books that I read to um, the little children. <laughs> Next, uh, this, I'm going to say it, it has to be my favorite of the collection. I love all of them. This is my favorite here. This is um, a stamp and die collection, uh, which is always great because you're getting that value for money. We've got stamps and dies. Use them together, uh, use them individually. You know, you've got those choices. This is Twilight Animals. And I think the reason why I like this so much is these are just my hand-drawn sketches here. So we've got that day Again, it's following along that animal theme here. Kind of gives me those classic storybook vibes. Um, you know, the, those lovely children's illustrations, the black and white ones you get in the older children's books, but I just love these. Uh, we've got a deer a bear, a fox, and then we've got some different sort of stylized moons here. It could be a sun or it could be a moon. And then we've got some really simple uh, sentiments here. So one that just says, look up. I love that. It's short and sweet. Uh, we said, we've got one that says, look to the stars. And then another that says, shoot for the moon. And what I've done here is I've given you a full sentence in different parts. So you can either use part of the sentence or you can, you know, put them all together for one long sentiment here. You can die cut these to make them stand out. We've got some star elements. We've got some little rocks there. Everything's layered so that you can either choose to put your own mixed media techniques, which by the way, in just a sec, we're going to be getting to um, creating something with this. Um, but yeah, we've got everything there for you. I absolutely love this set. Then we have signs for success. Now this one here, um, and don't worry, at the end we're going to go over all my card makes that I've made, but here's just a sneak peek, an example of how to use this. So it's based on those rustic styles of sign that you get, maybe when you're out walking, uh, I know I see them all the time when I'm out hiking, those worn down signs and the stamps in here, which could be used as sentiments on their own, but they're designed to fit within each little panel on your um, nice little sign there. So these are perfect for anyone who's taking on a new challenge, you know, uh, going to university, maybe they're uh, moving house, maybe they're moving to a new city. Um, speaking of new cities, the next one here is Skyline Silhouettes. So this one actually has a cityscape silhouette. Now this could be New York, could be Chicago, could be any city, even ones in the UK, or it doesn't have to just be the US, um, that has a nice skyline like this. So anyone who's maybe going on holiday, I like the idea of someone making a card with this set. Uh, let me just show you a quick example. There's one that I've made with that skyline. I've used a mask, but I like the idea of people making it maybe for someone who got uh, engaged in New York or something like that. Um, yeah, I really love this set here. So um, let's get on to a demo. I'm going to create something, obviously, with this being sort of my favorite set. Um, nothing against the rest. I absolutely love them, but it's just that hand-drawn element for me. Uh, we're going to create something with this. Now, this is a really simple technique. I wanted to show how these can be made uh, alongside your kind of artistic skills. Um, so we're going to take, I'm going to take two of my characters here. Let's go with the bear 
and the fox. So I'm creating a scene here. I'm not creating a scene. I'm not calling a scene. I'm not having a paddy. What I mean is that I'm creating a nice little hand-drawn scene. So what I've done is I've taken a sheet of A4 cardstock here, clean A4 cardstock, and I'm going to use this to start setting things down. I'm using the Sizzix stencil and stamp tool. Now this is a really great tool if you're doing something like this because it allows me to put that stamp down again and get perfect registration if I go wrong here, um, which you can't do with a stamping block. So there's my little fox and bear. I'm gonna add a moon. And do you know what? I think this actually might be a sunshine in this. And then I'm just gonna choose any of these sentiments. Let's go, not look to the stars. Let's just do the look up sentiment here because that one is really nice and simple and to the point. Now, I will stamp this using my set. All we have to do is close it. That's ready. This has a low tack, so that's not moving. Uh, and incidentally, while I'm inking this, I thought it's worth mentioning that we've gone with the sticky grid sheets on our stencil and stamp press because it's going to allow you now, the way I've done here, to lay it right across there and there's no ridge uh, that's going to stop you from doing that. So, let's stamp my little scene. And that's registered perfect straight away, so I don't need to come in again. But if I were to come in again, that would register exactly on there, meaning that you don't have to you know, try and aim for the same place again. Now, James, you might want to come in close on this part because I'm going to be doing some drawing here. Uh, so I've got my scene, the characters in my scene, the character in the sun, and my sentiment. What I'm going to do here is I'm going to start drawing a nice little hill. So this is just a little fine liner. It's a number 0.4 fine liner pen. And this is a really simple way. You can see here, I'm just doing it with little lines, a, a simple way of creating an environment around them. So th that's all it is, some little squiggles. I'll do a little tree. You know, I'm gonna take this off here. I'll close my stamping thing. So I've got the full surface there. And then let's draw a little tree in here. Just a simple one because the characters are what is going to stand out here. I'm just creating a little environment around here just to you know, add something extra. In fact, I'm, I'm going to stop at just these little trees because I love them. There we are. So here's my scene. Now, prior to doing this, I had marked out my area for the mount in my frame because it's going to be a nice little um, mounted frame that you could put maybe in a child's nursery. Um, I'm going to rub out that mark that I created earlier. And then we're going to take some watercolour paints here. I actually borrowed this without asking from Pete Hughes. So hopefully he's not watching this. Now, let's begin. And there we go, all done. So that took no time at all. All I had to do was stamp the characters. Do It's, it's just subtle shading there with the watercolors. This isn't even watercolor cardstock. So the size of the stamps make it easy to color because, well, 
you don't have much of a surface area to fill. And the beauty of it is, if you make a mistake or you're not happy with the first one you've done, stamp another one and try again. So that's what we've tried to do with these stamp sets here. Um, but that's about it. So all I would do with this now is just layer it up into a little frame. So I'll add this to my frame. And there we go. A nice little uh, watercolor frame that you've had a huge part in creating. All I've done is given you a few ingredients to get you going. But I absolutely love that and I will be putting this up in my daughter's bedroom. So let's have a quick look at some of the makes that I've created earlier with some of these dies. So uh, just quickly, we have the skyline silhouettes. So here I've used the cityscape in two different ways. One way I've used is to mask it and use that as a stencil to ink through. And then I've layered one on top there as well. So we've got the added layer of dimension because I've added some foam tape on the back there. And then we've got another layer of dimension because we can see those city, uh, those skyscrapers, sorry, in the background there as well. Um, then we have another one here with uh, a similar approach with some mountains there. And obviously that little mouse uh, is from my forest animal set. And then we got the signs for success there too. Then we have, oh, let me show you these really simple cards that I've created using my forest animal sets here. So uh, a tiny bit of inking goes a long way with this one. Uh, you are strong and mighty. And then there's my little tiny mouse uh, making a big shadow. And what this shows is that even the smallest elements from that set have a massive impact. And it's all about that personality that I've given them. Uh, then we have some puns, because you've got to, this one says, nuts about you. Um, I hear you're leaving. I know that everyone is really laughing at home now. Uh, I'll love you forever. That one's nice, isn't it? I might add a little heart in here because I love the way a tiny little uh, pink heart goes with this uh, Mermaid Kiss cardstock there. And then looking sharp. And all that is, is just a tiny bit of, you know, accent paper on here and then a sentiment that I've printed myself. Let's have a look at my Twilight Animal cards. So there's a really simple one that just says Foxy Lady. But you could do this with any uh, of my little animals on there. I've got other ones that say things like, I can't bear to be without you for the bear. And then you are so dear to me for the deer. Things like that. I'm a very clever man. Uh, and there's another one that just says, look up and have a look at this. I love this. Now, this one, I've created a little scene. So uh, imagine it's a little storybook. All I've done is I've stamped onto here. I haven't even colored it. And then I've just added a few little accents of shadow around there with a fine liner pen. It says, the two gazed up at the night sky. I wonder what on earth they are, said the bear. Something very magical, said the deer. And that was just something that I came up with in two minutes, but I would frame this again and put it on um, a wall in a nursery or something like that. So um, that is about it from me. I hope you have enjoyed this video. Um, I cannot wait to see what you guys at home do with these dies, with this whole collection. Um, and if you do make something, you know, show us in the comments because we read all the comments. Absolutely love reading through the comments. Uh, give us a like and subscribe. Um, and that's it from me and I will see you next time.